If you don't know who I am, my name is Peter Kane. I'm a dog trainer and I have opinions and I speak them because I want people to know about dogs and um, whether a lot of people are doing things wrong. They are. They're just looking at, at dogs like they're morph little humans and that, that's not how it should be. Now, full disclosure, I'm, I'm going to talk about the way a dog looks because that seems to be important. It, it is. It's important to the person getting the dog. And I'll raise my hand and admit that I like the look of retrievers. And I've owned a lot of retrievers. Before my dog, Ike, I was thinking about getting a poodle and then a doodle. And I went to a Labrador again. So I, I am subject to liking the way certain dogs look. I try and stick to dogs that look um, like morphed wolves. Do you know what I'm saying? Like with a normal looking snout, not a pushed in face, just because it's a healthier type of dog. Now, as a dog trainer, I run across a lot of people that are overly concerned about the way the dog looks and not concerned about the dog's behavior enough to um, treat the dog like a dog. And what, what I'm saying by this is like, there's like an emphasis on, oh, the dog needs to be groomed all the time, or the dog needs to get baths two, three times a week, just a ridiculous amount of grooming taking place because a lot of times the owners like to do that. Like I find a lot of owners like, like the idea of making, making food for the dog, which is always sort of a mistake. If you're doing raw diet, I get it. But a lot of people like cook, don't cook food for your dog because you're going to do it wrong and don't get recipes off the internet and think you're doing it right. And one thing that's important is um, we're the only animal that eats cooked food. Okay. So why are you doing that to your dog? And if you're giving raw diet, that doesn't mean raw vegetables. Okay. So you give canned spinach. I digress. I'm, I'm getting off track here. The thing um, that I've noticed is a lot of people, they really are, they're, they're really concerned about bathing the dog. It's like a nurturing thing with the dog. And, you know, they're worried about the way the dog looks, but the dog is a dick around people. So how's the dog really look? Do you know what I'm saying? Like people are going, ooh, what a good looking dog. And then the dog's barking and lunging at whoever. Why is that? Why is that? Like you, you get a dog, you know, it's a subspecies of the wolf. And it's really about like, how clean is the dog? Does the dog have the proper haircut? To me, it's not, if you, I'm just telling you, if you send your dog here, there is not an emphasis on grooming, okay? It's about behavior. And I admit to it, I don't like doing that. I don't like giving baths. And that's why I've always owned these hunting dogs that are low maintenance. Now I just threw a, a dog, a poodle in the tub and it went pretty good. But, it, you know, the poodle, it's like a sponge, and then they shake. It went pretty good, though. He got in the bath. You know, he's been in the bath clearly a lot. And then he came out, and then I got him out, outside, and he shook off it. Everything went pretty smooth. But I started thinking about, like, it's a great-looking dog, but he has behavioral issues. And how many times do I see this? Even little Marty, same thing, like a great little dog, but he would, like, bark at... at neighbors and strangers and shit and you had to tell that dog to stop doing it that's okay if it's like one bark and then you say hey knock it off get over here and the dog gets it heel okay but if the dog's at heel it should not be going off on the strangers we have four to six million dogs dying in the united states alone because of nonsense people are getting dogs just because of the way that they look no consideration about you know, like the behavior of the dog, the, you know, there's some dogs that are notoriously um, friendly. That's not necessarily a good thing for a lot of owners. You get a gregarious Labrador and it's jumping on people. It starts jumping on people and then you got a problem and Labradors have killed people. So don't think that like a, a Labrador or a Golden, you're not going to have, they all have bite histories pretty much. Um, you know, you don't think I'm going to get a golden and not train it and have it around my kids. That's not a good idea. And by training, I mean serious training. You have to like really put some work into it. You can't be like, oh, look, I taught the dog to sit and think everything's going to go okay. And then somebody comes to the door, you open the door and then you're 
Golden's jumping on the people. People, oh, don't worry about it. I love dogs. You, you should be concentrating on the dog's behavior, not the way the dog looks. There was a dog here that it was a small white dog, and uh, I won't use the name, but um, one of the one of the owners. There, there were two owners with this dog, and one of the owners said to me, said to the, me, after the dog got groomed, now the dog looks loved, and I was like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? That's what you're worried about is what people think your dog looks like. I, I went off on him. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Your dog is horrible at times around people. And you're worried about like, the, now the dog looks loved? I love that dog that I'm talking about, by the way. I loved him. It was great dog. Great dog. The one owner was sort of like, but then the other owner was... So everything worked out in the end. But the one owner that I'm talking about, the positive owner, is really about keeping the dog looking a certain way. Wants to show dogs and stuff like that, but a concentration on the dog's behavior. If the dog is being a dick, she says, no, knock it fucking off. Get over here at heel. Which is fine. So if you want to do that nurturing stuff, like you want to, bathe the dog all the time. Don't do it more than a couple times a week. Um, really, they don't, they don't need to be bathed, you know, four times a week. If you want to do that and you want to like make a, a raw diet, which I don't know what you would be adding into it. Like they eat bone in chicken by grinding it. They're not really like, you know, you're not getting the benefit of the dog chewing. They just gobble it up. Like it's in a little bowl. It's not natural. What would you be adding? Like a little bit of spinach? They don't eat fruit, okay? They're not supposed to be eating fruit and they make their own vitamin C. So it's, it's sort of nonsense. Like the person that wants to like take the time and grind it up and, you know, make little patties and freeze them. Okay, if you want to do that, but that's a lot of time that you could be spending training your dog, spending time with your dog. Instead of spending proper time with your dog, you're in the kitchen making dog food. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. And that's what I'm saying. Four to six million dogs dying every year. People are worried about how their dog looks. Well, it looks like a jerk off when it's lunging and barking at people, okay? It looks like a jerk. So stop worrying about is the dog clean? And trust me, there's very few people that send the dog to me because they think that I'm gonna concentrate on grooming. With that said, the poodle that I just cleaned, you had to shave around the face and they were having trouble with that. So I was like, yeah, I'll get them better at that. I did that real quick. The first time I worked with him, I put him in a high collar and started shaving his face. Then he saw, hey, I have to do this. Now I just like grab his face and you know, go around his eyes and stuff, no problem. So. There is an element of grooming with me, but that is not what people send their dog here for. They, they send their dog here for behavioral issues and to learn skills so that the owner can work with the dog the rest of the dog's life. Because training is the lifetime of your dog. As the dog gets older, you might do maintenance training with the dog, but they like to do it. They like to drill and do retrieves and everything. So you're more apt to want to work with a dog that wants to do this activity. So stop worrying about does little Fluffy have a ribbon in her hair? Is little Fluffy a jerk? You're wasting your time doing this, nurturing the dog like that. You should be nurturing the dog by nurturing its behavior. And you do that through training, and training is repetitious. Remember, your dog functions two different ways. Instinctually, that's the shit, and with trained commands, that's the good stuff. So spend time with your dog, not grooming it and bathing it. I'm not saying don't give it a bath every now and then. Some of these dogs you had to bathe, like the poodle. Man, for weeks I've been like, I gotta give that poodle a bath. It's filthy, it's like a dust, you know, it's like a dust mop. I'm not saying don't do that, I'm just saying, 
You shouldn't be doing that a bunch of times a week. Maybe once a month with a poodle? Once a month, maybe? Stop wasting your time. Spend time with your dog in an appropriate manner. An appropriate manner is training your dog.